you know, I just ask myself every single day, a little bit better, but Frank, you know, what the fuck is wrong with people? Seriously. That is, you know, not joking, not trying to bullshit or nothing like that, but what the fuck is wrong with people? Is it something in the water? Is it something in the pizza? Is it something in the weed? Are people smoking the wrong kind of weed? Like, what, what, what is going on? Because now, of all people, Sylvester Stallone has been canceled. Canceled. Oh my god, he's canceled. Because the motherfucker joined a golf club that just so happened to be owned by Donald Trump. Again, I just do not fucking understand this bullshit-ass world that we unfortunately have to live in. I do not understand why people... Is it is it COVID? Is it because of COVID? Or are people just that fucking bored? I do not understand why people have nothing better to do than to wake up every single day and find a reason to be offended find a reason to be pissed off, find a reason to cancel someone for absolutely not a fucking thing. Again, because the guy likes to play golf, and he just recently moved back to Florida to get away from all the fucking nutcases in California, Sly, I don't blame you. I do not blame you at all. And plus, he used to live in Florida, and then he moved to California, and, you know, there you go. But, because the guy likes to, you know, enjoy his life, and enjoy time, and play golf, and the course that he just so happened to join, maybe he played there before, maybe he liked the course, maybe he knows a lot of people that play there, friends, maybe he knows a lot of the people that work there. You know, God forbid the guy wants to go to a golf course that he's comfortable at and he likes and he wants to help and he wants to support. You know, God forbid he just wants to enjoy, you know, his twilight years and play a little golf, play a little nine hole, play a little 18 hole. I don't know. I'm not a golfer. I don't know how many holes he plays. But because some fucking, excuse my language, retard got mad. Because he joined it, so they posted it on Twitter. So all the other fucking little retards on Twitter got mad because Stallone joined a fucking golf course owned by Donald Trump. Get the fuck over yourselves. I mean, when is fucking enough going to be enough for this stupid, pointless bullshit? Because that's what it is. It's all bullshit. It's stupid. It is so fucking stupid. You mean to tell me that you people, I don't give a fuck. I'm just going to, I'm just going to say it like it is. You people got nothing better to do than to, oh my God, he's golfing. Cancel him. I'm offended. Oh my God. You've got nothing better to do than that all day with all the various people out there. Well, Henry Cavill's canceled because he dated Gina Carano. Oh my God! I mean, this guy he, right here, you know. Other way, Fob. Well, you can't see his face in that one, but you know, this guy when he went off on his racial tirade, you know, that's something. You know, I don't agree with what he said. What he said was fucking wrong. And he got what he deserved, going to be honest. That's why you never heard about him again. But he's good. He's got Seinfeld money. It ain't like he's broke. You know, that's something to get upset about. You know, when Hulk Hogan said it all those years ago, 
you know, I don't agree with what he said, you know, but he explained his reasons and came out and, you know, but all the good shit that Hulk Hogan did didn't matter. Okay, that's understandable. But, of course, you know, WWE brought him back and put him back in the Hall of Fame, which was going to happen anyway. But anyway, because the guy joined a fucking golf course, you are that upset about it. You have to get your panties in that much of a fucking bunch because, oh, my God. Well, you know what? It's so funny. Donald Trump hasn't been president for three months, and people are still so concerned and and still so fucking butthurt over him that they have nothing better to do than to still talk about him. It just goes to show you, again, what fucking stupid times we live in. Again, I've said it before. I'm going to say it until the end of eternity, okay? I did not vote for Donald Trump. You know, that's just me. But good fucking God, people. We've really come to the point where now we have to cancel a celebrity because of the fucking golf course that they choose to play at. Are you that fucking pathetic? Are you that petty? Are you that much of a fucking loser to where you're going to, you know, get on Twitter and tweet about it? Are you that pathetic? When was the last time any of these people had sex? Like, seriously. When was the last time that these people, you know, saw their reproductive sex organ, whether it's a penis or a vagina? Holy fuck. Like, good God. And then, oh my God, he's a has-been Netflix actor. When did Stallone, first of all, when did Stallone ever do a movie for Netflix? Never. Are some of his movies on Netflix? Probably. I don't own Netflix. I don't have Netflix. Netflix can, you know, kiss my black ass because they still have cuties on there, which is pedophilia. Again, fuck Netflix. Kiss. In the words of Eddie Murphy from The Golden Child. Kiss my ass. Is that is 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 Eddie Murphy going to be the next guy that gets canceled because he's from New York and that's where Donald Trump is from? So that automatically means him and Donald Trump are buddies. People really need to get their fucking head out of their ass and behave like adults, behave like human beings. This is ridiculous. This is fucking stupid. There's way more important things that are going on in the world right now to get upset about other than fucking Sylvester Stallone playing golf somewhere. The, you know, I hope these people get COVID. I really do. I hope they get COVID and I hope they fucking die because this virus ain't killing enough people, goddammit. I don't care. There's too many fucking people in the world there's too many idiots out there with no fucking brains. I'm sick of this shit. I'm I'm tired of this. Every goddamn day, it's someone else. Who's going to be next? Well, Mark Hamill, because he voiced the Joker, and we can't have that. The Joker's bad, even though everyone wants to be the Joker, because they live in fucking fantasy land. Like, every woman wants to be Harley Quinn, because they live in fucking fantasy land. And people say, people used to say that I have no concept of reality. People used to say I, you know, live in fucking fantasy land. Yeah, okay. Go fuck yourself. Okay, you know, Stallone and Donald Trump were buddies. I don't know if they still are. Donald Trump wanted Stallone to, um, when he first became president, he wanted him to do something with arts, like arts and, and that kind of thing. And Stallone said no, because he wanted to work with veterans. He wanted to do, you know, raise awareness for PTSD and, and do work with veterans. And Stallone's always done that. Stallone's always been very supportive of the military and veterans. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that would be great. Of course, nothing came of that. I'm a veteran. I was in the military. I'm all for that. That's awesome. 
because he played Rambo, who dealt with that. I have no problem with that. That would have, you know, that would have been amazing if they made Stallone like the ambassador for that. Again, it didn't happen, but you know, maybe one day it will happen. But who gives a fuck, man? Like, you know, again, this 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 fucking culture war that we live in, the cancel culture, because someone has a different opinion, because someone chooses to live their life the way that they want, what makes them. Isn't that in the, you know, the Bill of Rights? The pursuit, the pursuit of happiness? You know, isn't that, you know, our freedom? As an American, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I mean, what what the fuck ever happened to that? But no, America's evil. America's bad. America's racist. Everyone's racist. Every white person's racist. Every white person had slaves. Cops are evil. Every cop is racist. Cops just shoot black people. Guns are bad. Guns are evil. We have to take guns away. This is the world that we live in. Because people are fucking retarded. And I don't care, uh, you know, that people are getting mad about me using that word because it's true. Because people are fucking retarded. And I'm tired of it. And I know probably 99% of you that are watching this right now are just as tired of it as I am. Because here we are in the year 2021. We're a year into two weeks to flatten the curve. You have a 78-year-old dementia patient li ruling the free world that can't even function a complete sentence. Uh, you have a horrible situation going on at the U.S.-Mexico border where children are being thrown over the border to come into America and they're being sexually abused at these, you know, detention centers, at the cages. Oh, it's not that, it's something else. They're living in horrible conditions. They're not getting enough food and water. They're being treated terribly. You have people rioting and pillaging and destroying cities and because they think that's how it works. You got Antifa in goddamn Portland and Seattle, you know, playing army men because they think that's how it works. You've got so much bullshit going on in New York. You got all this other shit, legitimate shit to be upset about going on in the world. But you're mad because Rocky Rambo, Sly Stallone, joined a golf club. <laughs> What's next? Well, we have to cancel Jean-Claude Van Damme because he can do splits. And not everyone can do splits, so that's offensive. Cancel Van Damme. We have to cancel Chuck Norris because he has the greatest beard ever and not everyone can grow a beard. Transgender people can't grow beards, so that's transphobe. Cancel Chuck Norris. Do you realize how fucking ridiculous what I just said sounds? Because that's it. That's, that's what we have, have come to live in. That is the fucking world that we live in. Who the fuck would want to have a child in this world with all this stupid bullshit that's going on? Ah, oh, man. Thank God I stopped drinking. Thank God I don't drink alcohol anymore. But Rambo Raff, my good friend, said it best. Fuck you and your inbred kids. And that was hilarious. Ah, whatever. What's the point? What is the fucking point, to be perfectly honest? So, I don't really have much else to say. But all these, again... All these fucking retards out there, not just with the Stallone thing, with all this stupid cancel culture bullshit and being offended all the time and being entitled and thinking you're way more important than you fucking actually are. Go fuck yourselves. Get COVID. Die. Leave this fucking world. Can we get back to some normalcy, please? That would be great. That would be great. That would be awesome. If you all just faded away. Like the Who said in my generation. 
And then maybe, just maybe, the world can start to be a better place. But until then, go fuck yourselves.